Manda l'energia lì dove impatterà con la pietra. Incido。如果你当手上。Hello, I'm Giacomo Catalani. Many of the aspects that I have deepened in my life are related to health and science. In terms of prevention, well-being and performance, with sportsmen and professional athletes, and in the therapeutic field. To do this, I founded ATS, one of the leading research and training institutes in which I collaborate with many international professionals and through which I have presented to date over 200 talk shows, broadcasts during which I've conversed with many specialists and delved into many interesting topics that involved millions of users. With this documentary, I want to talk to you about a topic that has caught my attention and in ATS has allowed us to literally access a new world of knowledge, Qi the vital energy. Despite the great strides that scientific research in the West has made, today's knowledge about the mechanisms governing vital functions is relative and unapplied. After trying for years to better understand human nature and the close correlation of the mind-body relationship for a better expression of its potential, I found much interest in the information that led me to the discovery of the Eastern approach to health and the process of personal improvement. During my first experiences in China, I understood some general and important differences in the approach of the allopathic medicine with the traditional Chinese one. This path has strongly characterized the commitment that in recent years has allowed me to carefully explore some phenomena that in ATS we are still considering and carefully studying. The topic that struck me the most about 10 years ago and about which I could not understand the nature was qi, the vital energy at the time a term that I considered particularly abstract and that I could not assimilate to anything else that Western medicine could contemplate. Many years later, the encounter that marked a turning point for the understanding of this topic was the one with Constantino Valente, Qi Gong master and among the most authoritative exponents in the world in the field of Qi, direct student of Master Zhou, a doctor specialized in traditional Chinese medicine with a particularly fascinating history. The subsequent meetings with Master Zhou in China were the prelude to the decision to record this documentary, through which I wish to spread a valuable knowledge that each participant in this exploration has personally experienced with related and subsequent implications that you can hear through direct testimonies. The images we collected during the treatments and at other times are many, sometimes recorded with professional cameras and other times by contingency documented with smartphones. Everything you're going to see is authentic. Dr. Zhou is called Master or Shifu by the few and selected students who follow him and join him from all over the world, in some medical cases, in other very authoritative Qigong masters, as in the case of Constantine Valente, but more often by many patients who reach him from many areas of China. What he is able to transmit and teach is a discipline that has millenary origins and is handed down from teacher to student with enormous dedication. In fact, learning these techniques and practicing this discipline requires years of study and application. Master Zhou himself began his learning path from a young age, still a child, when fleeing the Chinese Cultural Revolution in 1966, 
already orphaned, was taken by his grandparents to a mountain in search of a refuge, where he met what would have been and still is his mentor and teacher, a Taoist monk who raised him for the next 22 years. A period during which Master Zhou learned Qigong and meditation, and the fundamentals of traditional Chinese medicine. To understand the holistic approach of traditional Chinese medicine, it is very useful to comprehend the lifestyle of China and the perspective that the Chinese contemplate in relation to the concepts of health and therapy. This has been very interesting in our stays in different areas of China. Traditional Chinese medicine in tune with the political trend of China is receiving strong recognition because of its effectiveness and scientific character and it seems that most Chinese prefer to consult traditional doctors and use traditional medicine. China is making considerable efforts to develop traditional medicine and encourage the combination of Chinese and Western medicine, so that they can coexist, learning from each other the pivotal points and eliminate the weak ones in search of common progress. With the ACS Institute, we organized an expedition that involved health professionals, researchers and some patients to meet Master Zhou. 100% of the participants assisted personally experienced and reported the effects of the treatment with traditional Chinese medicine and the transmission of vital energy. During each treatment, the moment of investigation is crucial. In traditional Chinese medicine, as in other oriental therapeutic approaches, a first diagnosis is made by reading the pulse, also defined as pulsologic diagnosis. Listening to the meridian beats reflects the imbalances of the organism and provides a series of information that's very useful for diagnostic purposes. It is a very complex technique that requires great sensitivity and concentration. During Dr. Zhou's treatments, we often witnessed the diagnosis on the wrists, which continued sometimes with an investigation on the tongue and eyes. Subsequently, the treatments were carried out with more known techniques, sometimes particular and very specific of acupuncture, to which were superimposed applications of moxibustion and cupping therapy. Treatments take more or less time, rarely less than 40 minutes. The moment of the transmission of qi, of vital energy, is always particular and shocking. The perception that 100% of the people involved reported is defined as a discharge or a strong vibration, similar to an electric discharge. The benefit, according to Dr. Zhou, is the improvement of the internal energy flow of the person involved, capable of making it stronger and healthier. At this point in the treatment, the master prepares to transfer his vital energy to the patient, a practice called energetic, during which he carries in various parts of the body the qi, the vital energy, depending on what he deems necessary for the specific case of the patient. Finally, he conveys qi through the most sensitive part as an entrance channel, the fingers of the hand. Sometimes, but not always, one person or more, sometimes two, who hold the ankles amplify the function of grounding or rooting that improves and directs the flow of energy in the patient's organism. The discharge is dense and powerful, and although similar to electric shock, it is persistent in duration, does not involve physical contact, and varies in intensity depending on the choice of the therapist. In this case, Master Zhou.
The reactions during and after the transmission of qi are very subjective and particular, and above all, generated in all participants a strong interest aimed at deepening the concept of vital energy. From that moment, we began to study and understand how and where our bodies collect energy and can transmit it, a phenomenon that was explained to us by Dr. Zhou, possible when a high degree of awareness and a deep psychophysical alignment is reached. Qigong, together with meditation, are the activities that Master Zhou has practiced daily for over 50 years. The practice of Qigong serves to collect energy of the environment at the point defined as the energy tank of our organism, the Dantian that is 7 centimeters below the navel, home of the Jing. The second Dantian is located at the heart level and is the seat of Qi and the third in the Shen's headquarters, the mind. An action of physical contraction of the perennial area up to the dantian under the navel, combined with the intention, allows to convey the qi, the vital energy. Precisely from the union and connection between body, spirit and mind is produced and it is possible to transfer the qi. Qi is today an increasingly current topic and present in the medical discipline. So much so that it has been included in the 11th publication of the World Health Organization for the International Classification of Diseases and Health Problems, which came into force on the 1st of January 2022. Within the 26th chapter mentions the shortage of qi and the balance between yin and yang. The first contact with qi is disconcerting and upsetting, literally upsets the system we know and the level of perception we are used to. After having personally experienced this experience and this feeling, it is clear how it is possible to produce the effects that at other times we have had the opportunity to observe. Knowing how extraordinary what you're about to see is, I remind you that everything we recorded is authentic. Myself and a whole group of professionals and patients were present at each of these moments. Dr. Zhou transfers Qi to a banknote to demonstrate the energy transfer to the matter, cutting a plastic stick with the banknote. After explaining the numerous potentials of qi and the body's ability to expel humidity through qi, Dr. Zhou is preparing for the energy transfer. At this moment, it is possible to observe very clearly an extraordinary phenomenon the exhalation of smoke in the body areas in which Dr. Zhou transfers energy. The internal humidity explained in the text of traditional Chinese medicine is produced inside the body as a result of yang deficiency of spleen and kidneys. Body fluids not properly distributed and eliminated accumulate leading to water retention in the body and causing dysfunction. The symptoms of the presence of humidity are numerous, including fatigue, heaviness, absence of thirst, weight gain and much more, until it turns into a real chronic fatigue syndrome. Low Dantian, Middle Dantian and Superior Dantian. We have three Dantians. The sky and the earth have qi and must be united. Everything around us also has energy and if we practice qigong, we're fine. Further phenomena, which we have observed on several occasions, are related to the movement of matter through qi. After explaining the presence of qi in the universe, in the sky and on the earth, Master Zhou demonstrated with what power it can be transferred. I make the energy rise, I exhale from my mouth, and I relax my stomach when I exhale from my mouth. I inhale from my nose and exhale from my mouth. I throw out. Dopo aver spiegato la presenza del C nell'universo, nel cielo e nella terra, il maestro Zhu ha dimostrato con quale potenza possa essere trasferito. The phenomena we have observed are the displacement of ash and in some cases of small objects, such as a stick.
On this occasion, during the National Congress of Qigong and Acupuncture, in the presence of medical surgeons intervened from many areas of China. Another particular phenomenon that we could observe during a therapeutic treatment is the elimination of ying from the body, manifested through the expulsion of a real energy bubble.